case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for at the heart of the united states v snelling case in 1982 sat a provocative question should the punishment for a crime be based strictly on the nature of the crime or should it also consider the character of the offender the case, heard by the United States Court of Military Appeals, ignited a fiery debate over this complex issue. The accused, who was found guilty of robbery, was sentenced to one year and one day of hard labor, along with a bad conduct discharge. His co-actor, identified as Corkill, participated in the same crime but received the considerably lighter sentence of a field-grade Article 15. This stark disparity in judgment directly sparked the principal question, was the accused's punishment excessively severe in comparison to Corkhill's? The crime had its origin in a casual conversation in a bar where the accused and his co-actors contemplated robbing a German. A chance encounter on the street led to the act being committed, with Sinclair and the accused forcefully taking the victim's purse. In an unexpected twist of events, Corkhill ran away with the stolen purse, only for the accused to retrieve and return it to the victim in exchange for money. The unexpected sharing of this money formed a significant part of Corkhill's testimony. He claimed he was punished under Article 15 for his role in the crime. However, the trial judge objected to this testimony, and the issue of the sentence, severity never came under scrutiny during the trial. Finally, the court came to a decision. The initial ruling was upheld. The court argued that the punishment meted out did not lack relative uniformity, nor did it represent a blatant abuse of discretion or an obvious miscarriage of justice. The principle of sentence comparison, the court ruled, should be applied not just to the sentence of the accused, but also to any other parties involved. This landmark case thus upheld the foundational principle that the appropriateness of a sentence is ultimately determined by the nature of the crime and the character of the offender. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.